Welcome back, this is Sean Thomas on Hearthstone. We are playing with the ranked, powerful priest deck here. We just got our first win on uh, the quest line for the three priest victories. Had the guy surrender with about 14 health left. And it was only about eight mana into the game. The light shall bring victory. Not a bad hand to start with. I'm actually going to give up on the Holy Champion and the Light Spawn, looking for some buffs. Alright, I will do my best to make it for quick turns. I can't control my opponent, though. When you're playing ranked, you want a deck that's going to win you games quick so that you can get more games in. You're going to lose games. Everybody loses games, but what you want is to have a higher probability of winning. And then you have a lot of games that you play. So if you win 60% of your games, well, the more time you play, the faster you're going to go up. Uh, if you play 10 games and you win 6 out of those and lose 4, that's 2 up. Versus if you were to play in that same day only 3 games and you win 2 out of those 3, you've only, you've only raised by 1. All right. What we're going to do here is uh, go ahead and give our guy taunt yeah, or no we'll go with the, the light heal that way we can get extra heal damage on so every time I heal with this it's gonna throw a damage on the druid point I really don't want to lose out on my my shadow boxer guy I don't know if I'm gonna have much choice I can throw down this person giving this guy a uh, shield taunt Shields up. but I'm gonna have to forgo using him just so that he doesn't die straight out In order to maintain dominance, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice him at this point. It's one of my favorite cards, the Holy Champion. Uh, as you heal as a priest, you can bring in additional damage to the you know to the board here. If you happen to land a Holy Nova, you have a few guys damaged. You can get up to some pretty high numbers. Death does not scare me. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and double up on our on our heals uh, on this guy and get the additional damage. In the light's name. So I can heal and throw a uh, Valiant's Chosen, take out this guy and get another one into into the field. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 
I'll heal, heal this guy. Alright, so with the, those heal bonuses in Valen's Chosen, get a card straight out. Likely gonna want to have uh, want to go with the tournament medic next. This guy will give us re additional two health on Inspire. It'll match up nicely with our Light Wardens and uh, Holy Champion. We've also got the Light Will giving us some heals that'll also increase their damage. If they survive, <laughs> I haven't been paying attention to see what he's got next. I uh, got left on this. Not a bad but not a bad hand by Romley over here. Okay, so at this point I can Holy Nova clear the board and then uh, I'll have enough for nothing else it looks like. Or I can throw out the Holy Medic. I don't quite yet want to use the Holy Nova, I'm gonna hold that in reserve. Top off and bring it into the next round. My shield for Argus. So he's going to take out my my well, I think. I can damage this guy here, Holy Nova, wipe out everything down to one health, and then give this guy taunt. Probably be the best bet for me at this point. I wonder. So let's go ahead and give him taunt. On a Holy Nova. If I hold off, he'll damage me and kill this guy, but it'll cost him all, all of his dudes unless he's able to heal. If I attack right now, I'll be in the same boat, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. So we're going to nullify this Sea Kraken with our Shadow Word Death. And next round, I could bring out Ursa, but i got to kill that Kraken before I do that. Otherwise I'll just lose the Ursa. So we're going to go ahead and take out the Kraken. Throw this guy, whoops, throw this guy out. Give us a heal and hope for taking out his Argus. No such luck. Moving into the next round. Unless he comes out with something big, I'll be able to bring out Ursa next round, and then in, it'll just be a dominance in cards. So he's going to use a special and take out that Argent Crusader. And then I guess he's going to go for some more damage against my my hero. He's taking his time though. Alright, that'll be it for the round. Alright, I will go ahead and 
bring, bring out Ursa. I'm going to clear the board just in case he's got some bo uh, buffs that'll be able to assist him in dropping Ursa. Alright. So this is a great nuke bomb here. Deal 5 damage to all characters except Ursa. you got to be careful that you're not at, at 5 health and below when you use it, though. Got the best deals anywhere. So he's going to try to get some extra cards in. He's going to take this dude down. So in order to maintain dominance, I'm going to go ahead and use this card. It's going to kill off his guy and do 5 damage to both of us. Which is fine because I can heal. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop this fella. Along with some healing on myself to increase its damage. Apply Ursa's attack to the enemy hero and end the turn. So that's the power of Ursa. Lots of health, which matches up nicely with the priest, uh, double up on health, and then you can use inner fire to change that health into attack. Pretty heavy combo. I haven't gotten those cards yet in this hand. Uh, can't be targeted by spells or heroes, hero powers. It's a pretty nice low cost card. So this guy's dead. I've got Valens chosen, so I won't even lose anyone from the next attack. So I'm going to try for maintaining the map dominance. Um, actually, I think I can end the game right now. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to use Valens Chosen. I'm going to turn that into 16 health. 16 health becomes 16 damage, and that's game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, please smash that like button. If you'd like to see additional content, subscribe. It's free to do so. Leave a comment if you'd like to see other content. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.